What's going on guys, it's Danny here and this is gonna be a replay, commentary, gameplay. Um, I didn't do one of these in a very long time and what a better game than this one. One of the few times guys I play Goblin Tech, I mean um, one of the few times I play all random games and I have Techies. I really have Techies. So, I was like, okay. All these spots right here, uh, by the way, you can see in my first Goblin Techies video, I have the first blood placing the mines right here, okay? And then the enemy uh, were getting to the lane and they get the first blood here. All these spots, all that on the shop as well on top lane, this is getting old and people expect that a lot. So, I decided to, to go and place my mines on the mid lane, okay? Remember that I have the vision until here. That means the enemy has the same vision. The enemy team has the vision like here. They cannot see what's going on in here. Only if someone stands here, he will see me. But I will see him as well. So I will see. I, I will be like, okay, this guy see me, he knows. But that's not the case. Um, on top of that... Patch. I have Patch in my team. He has a random gold as well, a magic bottle and stout shield. That's not bad. Usually I go, I go with a bottle and a tangles. Four, four tangles maybe. It's okay. So now what Patch can do, he can help the lane. Uh, just hook into the mines, right? And that's it. That's the first blood. Uh, the first blood will not happen right now. Um, later on because as you can see he blocked really really much okay uh, guardian wisp is warding for the enemy probably oh he's gonna place a ward here maybe oh yeah he, he warded here so I don't have any mines guys um, on the lane uh, what I'm doing is just go for levels I place the mines to kill the creeps to get creep kills and finish my soul ring as soon as possible. Um, probably, probably it would be a better idea to have uh, tangos um, instead of these two clarity potions. <coughs> but uh, anyway, when I have 350 gold, I'm gonna buy my ring of regeneration, and that's my soul ring, right? Okay, I want to see something. Okay. Okay. The enemy has vision right here. Okay, guys. Now I understand. Now I understand because, like, when I get level 3, it's gonna be level 2, my first, uh, my first spell, and the mines are gonna do 400 damage each. And what I do, uh, you will see, I will start placing them right here. Because, once again, I repeat, uh, this is gonna be the first blood, no. Okay. This is not the first blood. Um, yeah. I started doing my mines over here. Because my plan, I'm gonna tell you my plan, because... Um, I'm gonna say it once again and the last time. All these mines over here and then on the shop and then mines right here. This is classic. Every tech techies player um, is doing that and uh, everyone expect that mines. So yeah, um, here is the haste on the tinker. As you can see, this patch is going way too much to the mines. Oh, he hooked him. First blood. Oppa, first blood. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. First blood for me. First blood for me. Um, instant 400 gold for me. 427, that's right. Uh, now I have my ring of regeneration. And the uh, patch is going back, seems like. Yep. Yeah. We have one ward here, and then we have wards here. 
Okay, this is the time when I started. Um, let me see again the, the vision of the enemy team. Oh. Yeah, they probably have the vision right here because uh, they see me. I'm sure they see me. Okay, I'm gonna place another war, another mine, so I will see the vision again. Okay, you see this? Uh, right now I'm having the vision from the enemy. Okay. So this is the reason. Um, what my plan is, guys, um, I place the mines right here and then I pull, okay? I go and pull this neutral camp into the wave of creeps and then the enemy uh, will say, okay, these guys are pulling. So they are gonna be like, come on, we have to go there. And they will they will die from the mines. But uh, this Guardian Wisp placed a very smart Observer Ward that I, div I didn't even think about that. I didn't even, I had no idea about that, you know. Um, I am level 4, 4 minutes into the game, uh, definitely the kill from mid with my mines right here, um, it gave me an advantage in levels and gold of course because the first blood we all know uh, we get 200 bonus gold. So yep, um, I'm spending my mana with these mines right here, they are 3 right now and there is one more thing. Maybe it's gonna be one or two minutes later from now. Tinker is gonna be ganking right here. And he will go like this. Instead of going through the mines, he was coming from here. And it was perfect just, just going here to gank the lane, you know. And he went through here. Our warriors right? Okay, I am losing HP. Okay, I'm losing HP because, because of the Death Prophet nuke. And uh, I used one of my mines, the first spell, to damage the tower. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, one more mine, four mines. And at this point I'm gonna pull. Um, even this guy is the... Yeah, Omni Knight is saying uh, pull please and I'm saying yeah. Um, this creep wave is not gonna be it, um, it's gonna be the next one, and it will be perfect. If they didn't have a ward right here, uh, my plan would be perfect and it would work, I'm sure about that, because these creeps are very close to, are very close to my tower. So, the next one is coming here, I'm gonna pull it, I'm, pull, I'm pulling right now. And these creeps are going right into the tower so they should be coming right here this is in the same path that they they should take if they want to 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 go to me you know and say uh, what's going on why are you pulling but they didn't because they have ward and yeah um, I am level 5 um, I just hear the patch ultimate he died oh yeah he's dead so he died. Um, this Ricky is level level seven. Seven minutes into the game. I don't know what's going on in the top lane. Um, I can see my team has a wait for me. This is the name of the Rubik. Yes, he has sentry wards. But even though they still die, I don't know. Because Ricky level 7, the only way you can get that is having a kill. Not even soloing, you are get uh, level 7 in 7 minutes, you know. And that was a block, yeah, a little bit bad. Um, level 5, right now I have level 2 of my first, first spell, uh, the mines. And I'm gonna be placing them right into the rune because... Um, I was like, okay, um, level 2, level, I mean, minute 8 is coming. Um, I want to see the enemy. They don't have vision right now. They really don't. So, I have two mines. Um, this was something really, I don't know, maybe unlucky for me. I needed one more second for the cooldown and then Tinker was dead. 
I need one more second to place the third mine. Um, what I'm gonna do now is suicide and I have a kill on the Guardian Wisp because um, I'm gonna explain you the suicide. It's gonna do really really much damage and some people uh, take some people max the suicide thinking they are gonna do 1000 damage every time they suicide. No, it doesn't work like that. You are gonna do 1060 damage, um, level 4 suicide, 200 AoE, okay, 200 w range when you are, okay, away from you. So 200, look, this is a gank, here I was talking about that, and uh, Tinker went through here, and uh, this is Darkseer coming from the jungle to help as well, um, he's coming a lot which is very nice, uh, that's some nice jungling. No, don't block him. I almost blocked him. Nah, he wouldn't die anyway. And then uh, Death Prophet, uh, he throws the, um, the nuke here, trying to search this guy, but he's already back. Very nice. Um, I don't know. I'm trying now to attack, because I was like, what the fuck? They, they don't go here, they, so they know mines are here, but how? So, I was speaking about the suicide, um, the full damage, it works exactly the same guys with the first spell, okay, the first spell and the, the suicide, 200 range, so my hero is here, let me pause, my hero is here, so 200 range is something like this, okay, very close to the hero, in this area, the people will get the full damage, which is 1060, okay? But in the other 500 damage, I, I mean 500 range, people will get um, the health. So, maxing, maxing the suicide? No, for me that's not a good idea. I max the first spell, and then I take... Um, on level 4, I take level 2 of suicide. Um, actually, thanks to that, thanks to the fact I get level 2 suicide, I have the kill on the Guardian Wisp, because I suicided here, Wisp was very close to me, Tinker was like here, he didn't take the full damage, if he took the full damage as well, um, I would have the Tinker kill as well, but I didn't, because he, he took half the damage from my suicide. Um, I am placing mines, the um, ultimate, yes, I am placing right here. Um, okay, where where am I going? Oh, wait, I have so many mines already? Opa! Double kill. Killing spree and dominating for me. So, I am, I have four kills. I am 4-1, but, but this one is suicide. So, suiciding is really nice, because, you know, um, let me actually see if they have wards. Yes, they have wards right here. This is a very smart ward from the enemy. And uh, Tinker was going for me. And I suicided again, right before the auto attack. This is, this is something very nice that you guys should do. I don't say you can do, you should do that, because... Um, the suicide, the, the cooldown is very long, that's right, but I don't give the kill to Tinker, um, he doesn't get any gold, and my my respawning time is gonna be half, so, okay, this is one ultimate, I'm probably gonna, okay, the first, the first mine, um, definitely stop them from chasing, because they knew they will take a lot of damage, now the creeps are gonna take it. Oh, he's actually ulting. So Death Prophet used the uh, Soaring, and then I used my, my ultimate, one mine I had right here. Oh! Oh, mega kill for me. Okay, what I did is place the mine and then immediately blow it with the... Um, the extra spell that uh, Tekis has, okay? Tekis has four spells and one more, remember that. Um, 
The extra spell is to blow all the mines in 700 range, which is gonna be one circle like that. So, what you have to do is cast the, um, the ultimate and then uh, when you see like it's gonna take two seconds or something maybe one and a half or two and a half between that um, to place the ultimate mine and um, I am like one two in my mind and two seconds after I I start uh, pressing the extra spell the big circle to blow the mines and then they explode right after the mines the mine is out it explodes um, instantly so keep that in mind guys and uh, yeah that's what I wanted to say um, I'm gonna tell you one trick one trick or a tip however you want to call it um, which is for the mines as you guys can see right here I have five mines I can tell you that because I played the game this game today and I have here five mines but it looks like one so what you have to do oh wait no I'm not gonna die Okay, what you guys have to do is uh, place place one mine and then click on your hero, you know, select your hero, just select it like this, F1, and then um, shift and click on the mine, okay? You, sh you have to shift and click on one mine and then when you press your OT, um, you have to press um, on top of the mine that is gonna be right here together with your hero, okay? And that will make you place the mine in the exactly same spot, like this, five mines in the same spot. Um, this is not really exactly the same spot, but it's very, very close. Sometimes it doesn't work um, at 100% because I don't know what's, what's really the, the reason for that. Um, okay, right now someone, someone went through my mines. Okay, it's illusions, okay. Illusions from Tinker because Tinker had a uh, illusion rune. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, very smart ward from the Wisp. Very, very smart, I, I should say. Right here, it definitely stopped my plan. But uh, that plan can work for you guys. Um, I think I have three mines right here. And I am sure they are not enough. You can see I was clicking on the mines, but I didn't use them because Tinker has 900 HP. So 900 damage will not kill him because he has armor and all that stuff. Okay, here I was surprised a little bit that uh, Weaver didn't die. He was like 100 HP because of this. I didn't see this. Hood... Um, He's actually a smart guy and he said like, fuck you techies, I'm just gonna buy hood because I'm tired of your shit. And uh, yeah. Uh, my team is stacking uh, four top, by the way, at this point. Uh, by the way, in this game, I remember, um, I can tell you for sure, I didn't die. Um, this is... Yeah, I am 5-2, um, the 2 is from suicides, so I still didn't die, I still have my mega kill streak, um, and I'm not gonna die or, or suicide until the end of the game, so from now it's getting uh, very very interesting, um, as always the spots, these spots right here, um, you can use them always, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, I'm going to my team to join a team fight actually because Techies is not always like okay, I'm Techies, I play solo, I'm gonna be placing the mines um, 40 or 50 minutes, whatever the game is gonna be. I don't care about my team. It's good to care about your team. And also, what you guys can do is place mines from the ultimate to get vision. This is like 
This is not like full ward, as you can see the vision is very small, but it's still something. Okay, I am going right here. Um, we just killed someone and now Tinker died as well, very nice. I have one stun here. Team play, fucking noobs. Oh yeah, the enemy team started flaming and raging. <laughs> I like it so much when, when people do that. <coughs> it's so funny. Oh, they have, they have gem? Oh, Sentry Wards. Death Prophet is like, fuck you techies, I'm also tired of your shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is pretty standard um, place for the mines, guys. Uh, three mines, I am level 9, I should have my, my first spell maxed. Four mines, four mines, 600 damage each, they are gonna do like 2000, okay, this is five mines, 600 damage each, this is gonna be 3000 damage. Okay, Weaver. Oh, uh, oh, that auto attack, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Another Q, um, unstoppable for me actually. Um, let's see what more places I'm gonna be using for mines that I can tell you guys. Um, that you can use as well. Um, one of them is here, so when I pull, they are gonna check what's going on. And they will die, they should die if they didn't have a ward here, I'm sure. Um, after that, I am placing ultimates on the lanes, which is very obvious. I have a double kill here, like 10 minutes ago, 10 minutes into the game. Uh, now I'm placing here, I have one ultimate here, so I can get vision. And I have one more ultimate here, to get even more vision on here a little bit. And that's like having a ward, that's the same like having one ward right here, observer ward. Um, I am joining my team again. Okay, fresh meat. No, you cannot kill Tinker. Uh, something is going on, okay. Okay, one stun is gonna be here. Oh, I'm using the south on myself, nice. With, oh, he's still buying wards, wow. He's buying really, really much wards. Oh, Ruby has Shukuchi. Very nice. Having Shukuchi from Weaver when you are, um, when you are Rubik, that's the best. That's very, very nice. And he has Soaring, so he can, he can spam all the time. Okay, another place, here. I am gonna be placing mines right here. The first spell, okay. Okay, one stun here. Um, oh, we Oh, oh, a dandy. I didn't check this one. This is a double kill for me from the mines I had right here. These guys were chased. These guys are chasing Rubik, and I'm like, no, nope, you cannot chase. And uh, that give me. What do I have? Monster kill, yeah. I have 8 kills for now. Okay, uh, one more place. This is just a stun. Uh, this is just a stun. This is vision, vision. Uh, this is a stun. As you can see guys, um, pretty much what I like doing every time I play techies is uh, buy soaring and arcane boots. Soaring plus arcane boots that means pretty much you have be placing, uh, you can be placing uh, mines really, really all the time and uh, have no mana problems. Maybe you have to wait just a little bit from the cooldown with the soaring. Um, once again, I was like, okay, fuck that spots. Um, the the runes, the runes uh, mines are very obvious. And um, I will place it right here. This is another spot that you guys can use. Um, I am 
pinging on the mines. I'm probably like, yo, run into the mines. Our allies town needs help. Okay, this could be dangerous for me. Oh! Opa! <laughs> they are saying to Weaver, what are you doing there? What the fuck? This guy is flaming for no reason. This is like... The, the tech is mines. You never know. You never know. And I am using not obvious places, you know? Um, my team is very aggressive. And my team is doing uh, very well on the mid and top lane in the beginning. So that's definitely giving me enough space. Right now they just kill Tinker again. And um, I have enough time to place mines here. This is another spot that you guys remember and uh, you can use. Just look, look at the damage from the first spell. Um, it's doing something insane really, really much. On the towers, yeah, on the towers. Before, like, I don't know, three or four maps ago, I don't know. Um, I remember that we could damage the racks as well with the Techie's first spell mines. But right now we couldn't really, I don't know. Because I tried that and I was like, yo, this should be working, but it doesn't. Okay, Ricky doesn't want to, to go through the wall. So he turned like one centimeter before. Oh! Yo, they see this? No, they have no idea. Okay, who is gonna who is gonna walk there? I have already like six mines. This is something insane. This is gonna do three thousand and sixty damage probably. Ha! <laughs> That's insane. And I have a Void Stone, guys, because my next item after this will be Hex. Okay, as you can see, I am in the team fight. actually. I am not alone placing mines or anything like that. I am in a team fight, And uh, I have to stun. I have stun right here. So I definitely stop these two guys from chasing my team. And they are able to get the kill solo on Wisp. So yeah, Death Prophet is gonna die. Weaver? No, he didn't run into my mines. Weaver is here. Oh! Nice. So, what else? Uh, what more spots can I tell you guys? More spots for the mines. Probably... Instead of here, you can also know they are gonna see this because the creeps when they spawn they are walk through here and if you are they will see you here and here as well. Um, maybe here, maybe here. Yeah, that's also a good good uh, spot I think. And then you can place them here but this is um, in the enemy's jungle. Um, this is not really a nice spot, you know. Um, okay, I'm saying to mines, guys. Yeah, they really... If someone is dying, they should definitely run into the mines. Oh! Tinker! Tinker? Please. Wisp? No. Someone has to go here. Oh! Fa. <laughs> Holy shit already, wow, I'm beyond god godlike, which is 10 kills for me. Okay, nice. Oh, here is another spot, guys. Um, they don't see me here, because I am uphill, and they, are, they have the vision like, if someone is standing here... Okay, let me watch again the, the fight, actually. Okay, I want to see, where is the Ricky? Oh, the Ricky is back, because this mine right here, I tried to guess and kill the Ricky, invisibility, but he's back. He's killing my Omni Knight, and uh, I just I just can't do anything. 
about that. Okay, uh, one more spot that you can you you guys can see um, in the shop. Um, I you just have to watch this one, the distance from here, and place it just a little bit to the left, not really in the middle, because the middle is here. What some people do is walk like this. So if they walk like here, they are gonna activate the mines even from a, a little bit of range, you know, and uh, yeah. Now the only thing I need to do is wait for someone to go to the shop. Oh, Weaver! Oh, you can see, guys, exactly, exactly what I said. If the mines were here, Weaver probably should uh, took the half damage, not the f oh, double kill for me. I have one more, one more kill here. Oh, with the mines, okay. Okay, the mines here. Oh, no! Fuck you, man! This was ultra kill that I could have ultra kill. Fuck. Um, so, one kill on the Weaver. Um, I remember that. One kill on the Tinker right here with the mines and then one more kill for the triple uh, death prophet i was doing exactly what i told you guys with the extra spell from uh oh he steals tether stealing tether is very very nice because you have patch tether and patch is very nice combo actually um i did the uh, tip i gave you already with my extra spell uh, which is destroying all the mines all the ultimate mines in 700 range the big circle so I did that um, I have one stun here and one of the first spell here okay I keep placing more and more like this um, I'm gonna say again how I do this all the mines in one place just uh, because some people maybe not, didn't hear that in the beginning um, this patch is really crazy. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I, I was missing so much the tech is, man. I was missing so much. It's like one month without playing tech is. And I have it, uh... All random. That's very, very nice. As you guys, as you guys can see, the first spell. Opa. No, no hook. No four star hook. Okay, this makes no sense because the tower will destroy it. And I have hex, guys. My hex is ready. Um, okay, I was gonna say what you have to do is select your hero, shift. Oh, look! He just he just exploded these mines, and he is like 100 HP. Oh, man! That was another very close kill. Ah, okay. The reason of this mines, this stun and the other two mines right here is because patch. When patch goes to hook, um, I am, you know, he can hook and then the people will go through the mines and the stun will definitely help. Now let's go to the fight because we are doing one more push. If you guys have techies in your team, um, remember that and always do this if you have techies in your team the best thing you can do is say in the chat we have to finish this game early okay very nice one more combo uh, my stun the second spell um, on the tinker and then he has a free hook you know you cannot miss a hook on a stun target it's just impossible 
Okay, holy shit, one more kill. How much kills? 15 kills? Zero deaths because two... It says two, but it's two suicides, so that's nothing. And uh, nine assists. I think I will have one more kill until the end of the game, I think. Because I remember this was 16-0 game. Okay, um, I was saying the reason of these mines, um, what patch players usually do, they go here and they hook, so if they hook somebody, um, this, this person will be going back to the tower, obviously, back to his team, and they will walk through the mine, and uh, they are gonna be stunned, they are gonna be taking damage. Um, let's see, how do I have one more kill? Oppa. Oppa, hooks. Okay, I'm taking actually a lot of damage from this Tinker spells. Oh, this is a stun. Okay, nobody is gonna be here. Huh, I'm not sure how I get my, my last kill in this game. Because it's uh, 32, 34 minutes. And uh, we have two, two racks pushed. Okay, where am I? I am placing just mines. Um, okay, I'm gonna say again. Um, what you have to do, I'm gonna pause actually the game. What you have to do is, you can see right now, I have the click on my hero. I have selected my hero. You can press F1, select your hero, and then shift and left click with your mouse, okay? You are gonna select the mine as well. And then you have to use your ultimate and click on the mine that is that you have selected as well as your hero okay you have to click on the mine so the mine will place in exactly on the same spot as you can see it's like i have one mine here i have two mines here and then i have one here but it's not really like this i probably have five here because doing this look i can see the cooldown so i am selecting another mine that has more cooldown than the first one okay this one so here probably i have you can see the same okay the cooldown i have like five mines here and here it's it looks like i have two but maybe i have ten who knows who knows this will work perfectly against melee heroes because melee heroes they are gonna buy gem or they are gonna buy sentry wards and they are gonna be like, oh, look, this guy is stupid, he has only one mine, but he goes to attack, and I'm like, fuck you, bitch, I have ten mines, not one. <laughs> so he will die. This is something you should guys definitely try when you, fly, when you play Tekis. I have seen some people placing the mines, like, very close to each other, like, do one circle, like this, uh, with all mines. No, I don't really agree with this. Um, I'm still placing mines right here. Okay, finally I'm going with my team because they are farming. Not farm. Oh yeah, they are. It seems like farming actually on the fountain. Um, do I have my last kill? I have 16 kills at the end of this game because I see the stats. Okay, this mine will give me the kill probably. The game is ending. Okay, pro, it should be now. Okay. Good day! <laughs> right before the game ended, uh, Weaver died through my mines. So, this is my build. Um, let me exit the game. This is my build, Soaring, Arcane Boots and Hex for the moment. Um, I have probably much more gold, um, current gold, I have 4000, so now the game is getting at this point really late, 
and uh, I could buy Aghanims to get even more damage for my ultimate or maybe, or maybe instead of Hex you, you guys can go for Aghanims um, so you can get uh, really really much damage level 3 ultimate with Aghanims it will do 750 damage remember that guys like you place two mines and that's gonna be um, 1050 damage if you place four mines it's gonna be 3000 damage and only four mines this is only four because it will take you like 30 seconds or maybe one minute max to, to place four mines and 3000 damage is huge and as you can see uh, one more thing I could uh, say you guys um, I was using okay I'm gonna give you advice I was using right here to <clears throat> the mines to um, you know to get vision like quartz but I should be doing it more okay I did nice right here but I should be doing it more I can place one mine here which is gonna give me a little bit of vision from here probably something like this and then I can place one mine here or maybe or the on maybe on the lane you know just to get that vision even if it's not on the spot that um, usually we place observer wards even if it's not that spot I can place even one mine here it's okay it's just to get vision but remember that it will cost you a lot of mana because your ultimate is requires you a lot of mana and then um, what else I can say is to spam guys when you have um, arcane boots and soaring maybe void stone as well uh, one part of the hex the most cheap one from the secret shop the void stone remember that it's gonna give you 100% mana regen so it's like uh, one or one and a half um, mana per second more so when you have that three items you should have that like 15 18 minutes into the game that three items you should have them for sure if not you are doing pretty much bad I should say and uh, you can basically spam and I recommend you to spam please I even say please you have to spam just place one mine here and then the second mine the second spell which is the stunning mine here and then one here and then probably I should have one here I'm talking before this lane is pushing okay let's imagine this tower is standing right here so one more stun here and then one more stun like like in the middle who cares I have a lot of mana region so remember that spam your spells um, <coughs> one mine is still standing here okay okay so, um, that's that's gonna be it for this video um, I hope guy, you guys learn about techies. <coughs> okay, guys, um, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoy and if you learn something. And you can also share it with your friends so they can learn as well. And uh, yeah, like on Facebook to get updates about videos. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't already. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Have fun playing Dota.